Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great weekend so far. Um, as you can see, this is a different style video to what I normally do. Normally I just sit down and talk at you in front of the camera, um, but I'll be doing the curio tag today. The curio tag was created by Will Chambers, um, and I was tagged by Jim over at Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. He thinks I've got some interesting things that I can share. Um, I don't think that I do. This is going to be quite a short video. <laughs> I don't have that much stuff lying around in my library um, or bookshelves. Um, but yeah, I'll just share with you what I've got on the shelf. Um, so on the top shelf there, you can see um, some of my favorite books on witchcraft and vampires, um, fiction and nonfiction. But next to it, I've got an ivy plant, a very thirsty ivy plant, as you can see. Um, I just, I, I love plants. I've got about 15 in my, my tiny flat, which um, I think, you know, probably shouldn't buy anymore. But anyways, yeah, I just love the way it looks. It gives it um, trails down and it just, it's very beautiful. Um, so the next shelf is really where I've got um, all of my other tat. <laughs> On the left, you can see I've got another plant here. Um, this is a Maranta plant, which is a type of prayer plant. Um, so the leaves fold in on each other at night and then they open up um, during the day. Um, but what I like about this one, um, this particular plant is it looks like stained glass, the leaves do. It's got some beautiful red going through it. Um, so yeah, it's got that sort of stained glass look to it. Um, and then moving along, just immediately next to it, is a pin that I got at um, the John Rylands Library uh, in Manchester. This, as you can see, is a skull pin, um, and it's called Peter Lou is basically just the nickname that was given to a massacre that occurred in the 19th century um, here in England called the Peter Lou Massacre, um, where um, there was a a demonstration um, by the lower class um, and there were, um, the military had charged through the crowd and there were quite a few casualties so it's um, it's a well-known uh, massacre that occurred here um, but if you know me you know I like anything skulls and skeletons um, this is just a leaf <laughs> that's kind of gross um, but yeah um, here this I got last September. This was a gift from my husband. Um, it's just a keychain that I like keeping here. But the significance of this is we went to Wales with my parents to a place called Betsy Coed. Um, and what the, the significance of this is, um, apparently wooden spoons were a token of love. So um, men would carve these wooden spoons and give them to, um, you know, their other halves as a, as a token of their love and apparently how deep the carving is means they love them more you can see this one's quite shallow so yeah didn't do very well there did he but anyways yeah I just like this little keychain um and then next we've got this which is just a ceramic tile of Vlad the Impaler um as you know if you watch my channel I've got quite the weird fascination with Vlad Dracula um, as a historical figure, um, but I just thought this tile was really beautiful, so I bought it off Etsy. And then next, we've just got this um, this iconographic picture of, I believe, Saint Dionysus, um, the patron saint of Zakynthos. Um, Zakynthos or Zante is an island um, in the Ionian Sea. Um, and I've been there a couple of times. I just, um, I like Greek um, religious art. Oh, sorry, the resolution. Um, and I particularly like how this ties in themes of, you know, the local area. I think that's a peacock if you can make it out the cross and then the grapes but yeah anyways like that that's really all the tat I've got on my shelves but um, one thing that I do collect are postcards and cards so I'll just share some of these with you I like to use these as bookmarks um, so this I also got at the John Rylands library same place that I got that pin um, I have a few of these but I love um, wood prints 
of demonologies and, and witches. Um, and then this one, I just think is so cute because, you know, they sort of turned it into a meme. <laughs> um, so yeah, really like that. Um, and then next I've got some from Maryland where I'm from. These are paintings um, on a postcard by a local artist. Um, so this place in Maryland, New Market, um, the, it's a very, um, it's, it's an old town. A lot of the buildings are colonial and federal style. Um, so I picked up these postcards just as a memento of, you know, where I'm from and just the beauty that is Maryland. There's another one. Um, this is the general store. Yeah, so I think these were just really pretty paintings. And then we've got the church. And then, um, I also, you know, I'm not that far from Harper's Ferry. Um, been to Harper's Ferry a couple of times. Harper Ferry, Harper Ferry is great for visiting if you're into hiking and, um, Civil War history. This is the site of John Brown's raid and, um, you know, um, has a lot of significance for Civil War. Um, so again, a lot of colonial and federal style buildings. You can walk through the town. It's very much preserved as, um, a snapshot of what it would have looked like in the, um, 19th century. But yeah, I like these postcards. Reminder where I've been. Um, and then, oh yeah, one more for Harper's Ferry. And then, yeah, I just like to collect cards as well. Um, this I got at a secondhand bookstore. I thought the, the um, fawn was really cute. This is artwork. And then I just dropped the other card, but no matter because yeah, I think you get the gist. But yeah, so yeah, again, I don't have a whole lot on my bookshelves, um, but yeah, those are just some of the things. Um, that I've got. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you fancy doing this tag, then go straight forward, uh, go straight to it. Um, be interested. I'm, I'm quite nosy, so I like seeing what other people have got and the significance behind them. Um, so yeah, please feel free to do this tag. I tag everyone. Um, so yeah, thanks Will Chambers for creating this um, tag, and thank you Jim uh, for tagging me. So I will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye for now.